Yo, what's going on guys? Currently, Uder Jungle has an 89% win rate build with over 700 games played this patch. To be fair, this patch has been three weeks so far instead of two, but still over 700 games played, 89% is kind of crazy. For this build, it's literally just a Dark Seal rush. You end up getting your tier two boots, Leandries. After Leandries, you then want to go for Deadmans into Mesh. This build plays well against every comp and plays good with every comp. The only exception is if your team's already full AP, full magic damage, you wouldn't really want to go Udyr because the enemies will just stack loads of magic resist, things like Kanek. But with that being said, Udyr is pretty gosh darn blind pickable. For our runes, we have Conquer, Triumph, Haste with Last Stand, alongside Free Boots, Approach, and Double AP. We're going to auto auto, Q auto auto. And it looks like Scion's gonna die. My bot lane shouldn't be doing this though. It's not worth losing all that CS for. Not worth it all. My team's gonna lose a ridiculous amount of minions. Is what it is. We'll pop R when we're almost in auto range. Since it does that range our autos, it can pull the camp into us and then we'll pop Q. Even though we are playing an 89% win rate AP Udyr build, we do still want to have that point in Q. Uh, the attack speed on it's really useful for getting our passive back because after using a ability our next two autos puts passive on a shorter cooldown. Plus, our Q and R are really our only damage abilities to where if you didn't have a single point in Q, your clears as a whole throughout the game would be really bad. For the most part, you are going to be using empowered Q when you're clearing, but in team fights, you're going to be using your empowered R. We're going to go a point in W, we're going to pop R into Q. Auto auto, W auto auto, back into R again. Our autos are AoE, which is nice. The thing about using your empowered R is your jungle pet has so much AoE true damage already that even on a raptor camp, not using empowered R, the little ones die at the same rate as the big one. To where when you're farming, until you have a bunch of points in your R, like four, you're really never going to be using many empowered R's while you're farming. It's pretty much all just empowered Q's. I used to be like different on that opinion, but I find just empowered Q's the way to go. I'm actually going to save my passive here because we're about to gank. We wouldn't want to waste our empowerment here. So we're able to do a leashless 311 pretty fast, all things considered. Get a point in our E and now we can gank it. Coming up behind, we're going to ghost on in. Get him with a stun into a double R, then we peg him down with autos. We get him with a stun, he's gonna have to flash. That was very, very good for us. We'll help them push just because I want to have a little bit of prio here when I go for scuttle. And we want to crash the wave. My team's gonna get the help mana back, spend gold advantage. Ooh, looks like he just got it. Uder's not a very strong soloist. His solo potential is pretty low since uh, his E and R, his E and W don't do damage, <clears throat> and his R is AOE damage. So solo potential all comes from his empowered Q, which isn't typically enough against a damage reduct champion like Warwick or Belbeth, because they'll just damage reduction your empowered Q, and then you don't have much. I'm not going to waste passive here. We're about to gank. Whenever you're about to gank, don't use your passive on a camp. I don't want to have it. I'll leave a ward here for this guy. I'm going to E out, see if I can catch him. I have to empowered E to get to him. We got his flash. That's pretty big. I can't really get to him. Teemo's tearing him up. Teemo should have probably gone for... I don't know. Something else. I would have gone fleet on Teemo since Sion has a lot of timed skill shots where if you can outrun it. Sion can't really do anything against you, but... A lot of Teemos prefer press the attack. First item back, we're going to pick up Dark Seal and as much of Leandri's as we can afford. Leandri's is essential for the extra damage it does against monsters. is really nice, especially on Baited Ashes. is huge. We can use our E again. 20 extra damage against monsters instead of the, just the flat 5, which is kind of nuts. It's insane. You can actually get this as a jungler. Leandri's, Dead Man's into Mesh is the build. Really fast with plenty of damage. I'm going to run this guy down. He's low. He doesn't have flash. We can empower to E if we need to. Got him with an E. I do have Dark Seal, so I would like to get the kill, but Teemo's not going to let me do that. Mm. I was thinking about stunning him out again, but... 
I also want to farm Q auto auto R auto auto W auto auto nice we're gonna go ahead and just stack every point in our R at this point because we have a point in every single ability Q auto auto Q auto auto W auto auto R auto auto and we, we our Q attack speed just ended after we cycled off basically six empowered autos that's why our passives over halfway back up that's why a lot of times I say when you're farming even on an AOE camp you are gonna use your Q empowerment because you can cycle back to your passives sooner which is really valuable camps already almost dead so I'm not gonna use use my passive on it got oracles up for the gank Lucian no boots that's good for us we has high base movement speed at 350 it's not warded. Ooh. We're going to E away. I mean, they're doing it right now. All right. Lucian's not paying attention. We get him with a stun and a double R. They might be coming on their way. Yeah, it looks like Belveth is. I'm not trying to steal any of these last hits, per se. I'm trying to get him down. Leaving the last hits for your AD carry is pretty important. It'll really piss them off if you don't. You always want your teammates to feel like they're your teammates. If they start to de use an enemy, then they'll, they'll be unpleasant to work with. Gotta build win-win situations. <sighs> Level 6, not a big power spike for Udyr. It still is nice to hit at 7 minute 30. Hitting 8 minute marks kind of on the late side for a power form jungler. Full clear gank jungler like Udyr. I'm going to ghost on in. E to get to him. Uh, Alright, we'll use R because we can't quite reach with an auto. That works. Pop W for the shield. You only ever use your empowered E if you can't reach him otherwise. Or if you're using it to go through a hard CC, like a bait cage or a morgue snare. Heck, you can even time it properly against the Malzahar R if you really want to. The easy ones is like the slow skill shots you can see coming and you just sprint through it because you're unstoppable and then you stun them. Alright, we got our free boots now. My pass is up, so I kind of want to gank. I'm also high health, so if I run into Belvest, she has not much kill potential. Ah, uh, it's warded. I'm still behind them though. I hit him with a stun and a double R. He's giga slowed. Shield that. Take pretty much no damage. That's really big though. Because it didn't cost me too much. It only cost me a little bit of time. We got flashes out of them. We don't have... Since we're not the type of champion where we're really looking for solo fights. It's not as if, oh, we need to spend this gold. It'll make a huge difference in our next solo fight. Because we're really just a clear gank character. So if you do have Dark Seal, don't stress yourself out about, oh, I need to back now, especially like my camps are up. Sure, if my camps on the side were down, I probably would have backed because I have a lot of gold, but since my camps aren't down, why are we going to take the time to back when we can just full clear through this? There's no point. Lucian is low. He's going to reset by the time he sees my allies. Teemo Blind Art, pretty good against Scion as a whole. I would have played Teemo with Fleet, though. I think Fleet would be so much better. The reason why Udyr is such a high tier character at the moment is simply because of where the jungle's at. To where the first item dictates everything. For jungle power spike, everything after that, you become way more reliant on your teammates. Because AD carry items are just so overblown, if it goes late game, you're not the true carry of your team anyways, unless you're playing a champion who can build 80 carry items. Like Infinity Edge and Collector. Infinity Edge, Collector, and Kraken are really, 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 really S plus tier. That's a big part of it. So like for Udyr, having Leandris, which is probably an S tier item. Having that as an early rush, which gives health, loads of damage at a reasonable price, 3k. That's why he's meta right now. It's literally just the item. It's not really his kit. Now, this kit's not bad, but... I'm going to reset. Teemo's nowhere close. I'm going to have to wait forever. <clears throat> I can pick up Leandri's. 
Can't four tier two boots, I'll grab that. Removing 436 when we pop E off of any movement speed bonus, 385. Most champions tier two boots are moving 380, so we're, we're pretty fast. Just walking around, no, not even the E speed up. We're not gonna waste some power E to move around the map, no reason to put passive on a cooldown for that. Scion players be in team though, for real. Get him with the stun. Didn't get the minions. He needs those minions to stack up his permanent health. From here, you typically max your W next for survivability. Although you could E max next if you want more mobility. With the Dark Seal, it's normally more about keeping the stacks up than anything else. Using a powered R there to hit her and the camp. Mm, yeah, Brand's not really rotating. I was keeping a close eye on that. I need to start playing for objectives. I've just been playing for farm and ganks for a while. I say that as I run away from Dragon. I'll ghost for this. Yeah, he knows he's screwed. I can stun him out of that. He's giga slowed and it scraped his shield. He's just screwed. Belveth's probably going to rush that again, which is so annoying. She's not a full item, so she won't take it particularly fast. Yeah, my teammates just aren't there. Man, I'm not there either, but my teammates are so far away. Okay, cool. Belveth's not on it. She's kind of baiting me a little bit. I'm okay with that. She still does not have a full item, so this should be good for us. Even though Scion's 1 and 7, he has more CS than Teemo. He's not behind. He's a full item. Teemo's literally not even a full item because Teemo <laughs> paid for boots and tier 2 boots. One dragon. We're playing soul for sure. I'm going to go up in this bush. We avoid the tri-brush because it's probably warded. Oh, why is Belveth in here? We'll get with the stun double R. I know her teammates are about to be here, so I'm just going to run. Probably gonna work for this. I have tier two boots against their team. It's hard to say what would be the best. Oh, geez, Ash. Uh, she flashed it. Why are they using their abilities now? This felt so late. They're probably gonna step up and ward this bush. Dodged it. That's huge. How does he know I'm just here? What a scumbag. Does his Q give vision? I don't think it does unless it hits. You just knew. Mm, yeah, it was just warded straight up. That makes a lot more sense. It's time for me to base. Well, empower to E into him. Get him with the smite. Stun R. Double auto. Yeah, that was a nasty Belveth dodge, or Belkaz dodge. I can get Mesh early, honestly, and adjust the build. Just because we do have the components here. We're at 10 stack, which is kind of critical. Against their team, I'd say Plated. Can we finish Mesh here? I don't think we have the gold, actually. That's totally fine. Wing Moon play is super, super strong. More movement speed. One nice thing about keeping the Mesh on 10 stack Dark Sill for a while is even if they kill you, they're not going to scrape all 10 stacks. You only lose like 4 or 5. You lose 5 instead of 10 if you bought the Mesh. So. Although Mesh is cost effective at 10 stacks, if you die once, it's super cost ineffective. You, you want the 10% extra movement speed. I'll go top lane. I do want my passive ideally up though. Auto auto R auto auto W auto auto. Right, I gotta get over there. Yeah, this guy's in big trouble. Pop him with double R. You don't want him to hit us with that. Got him with the stun right as he was flashing. That sucks for him. He just got nowhere to go, man. 
Yeah, he's got nothing. <laughs> Uder R is really tough for like melee characters to deal with. Brand, that's not gonna be good for you, my man. Got him with double stun, double R. I think Belveth flashed away. Whatever. We didn't get a kill there. Brand Rylice plus Belveth flash. That sucks. Really didn't do a whole lot of damage there. She's crazy fast, dude. I'm tier two boots moving moon plate. I don't know why she's moving so fast. My red jungle item isn't quite done. We'll try to kill them both here. Uh, we're not going to be able to. We'll just push. Try to leave these minions so she can get them. Mm, not seeing a whole lot. There's nothing over here. Not a whole lot. Drag up in 42. I should probably just spend. Okay, let's go for... I don't know why this is so big. It's hard for me to even click on my items. Um, can't really buy anything else. That's fine. I mean, if we really wanted to, if this dragon was critical, we could buy an elixir. It's not worth it. Should win the fight easy peasy. There was like a piece of something in my teeth scraping my tongue there. That was, that was a fun. Got with the stun double R. It looks like there's a grain or something. Whole grain bread's killing me. Caitlyn, run, you absolute goober. Have to stand on her, keep the slow there, so Sign doesn't auto her to death. Really need to get there in time. None of my teammates care about drag at all, really. Belvada is cracked, and she could take it pretty quick at this point. Shouldn't have used Empowered R, though. That connected on Lucian, that's so bad for him. Got with the smite. And R, auto, auto. Yeah. He's, he had no shot. I have plated. Plated hard counters any auto based character. Plated versus an auto based character. It's like a 3k gold item. It's wild. She's getting absolutely demolished by my R, though. I'll tell you that. Yeah, this is bad. This Vel Belveth is being an absolute piece of something. Turtle stance it. He's got no damage now. Yeah, it turned out pretty well, things considered. My measure's full stack. Game's over. We are so strong, man. He doesn't have real counters in a team fight. He, he can always do something. Throw out a max range R, play stun bot, bait, whatever he needs to do. He's super versatile in those type of situations. Dead mass. Okay, 89% win rate build. Cool. I'm already there. We shred squishies and tanks alike because Leandre is percent based damage. Stun into double R. Swap into Q for attack speed. Q auto auto. W auto auto. R auto auto. Stun him out. He doesn't even have heart still, so you don't really have to worry about him hitting us with the straight auto. Jack show's good, but it's not as good as it used to be. The fact that it doesn't steal health or anything is like, ugh. Uh, we want you, Baron? I don't think so. How fast am I right now? Let's see. Let's get up to full steam. 530, not bad. Basically a more mobile ver version of Rammus. 
There you go, buddy. Sit on that. Mm. Whoa, Lucian almost died from that. No way. Hey, Brant. Wow, he actually flashed away. Really wasn't expecting that. Imagine if I could get to somebody here. Oh, there it is. Beautiful. Get away from me! No! That sucks. I really die there. That was not worth it all. They got a thousand gold off my death, most likely. Yep, I lose some mesh. Brand's doing some crazy damage from here. Some magic resist would do us well. Force of nature for more movement speed or Kanic. Me personally, I'm a Kanic type of guy. I think it's the best magic resist item in the game, bar none. Abyssal is particularly useful on Uder though, because you reduce enemies' magic resist by 20%. For each enemy affected, we get magic resist. So this item at 2300 gold, although it's not as strong as Kanic as a whole, per the cost, can actually outvalue it since we can build it much sooner. Since we do magic damage, reducing their magic resist is obviously useful. Morg does magic damage, Timo does. That's in that's right. Magic damage. You guessed it. Who's that Pokemon? It's magic damage. I knew it. The whole time. Boop. On red buff, Scion's chilling top side. He's just playing for that scale angle. Get him with the smite, stun, R. Auto, auto, Q, auto, auto. Yeah, he's a goner. Brand doesn't have high single target damage either. He's all AoE damage. He needs his R to be bouncing. His passives to be spreading. Is this guy really just going to take our base? I'm confused why Scion's just allowed to march into my base. Makes no sense. Why is this happening? Eh, not quite, buddy. Go sit and spawn a little bit longer. We're gonna get Dragsoul for sure. They don't want to FF because their scaling honestly is good. I got too big this game though. Like, I'm just too fed. Like they can't really kill me unless it's a very precise type of situation. That's my opinion on the matter. Not gonna pop passive because I'm about to go do something. Blackfire Torch is certainly viable on Uder, particularly if you're Giga Fed. I've done that before, but. We needed a tank this game because they have a tank and we didn't really have one if I went Blackfire Torch. Got him to stun, double R. Yeah, he's, he's a goner. Not a close fight at all. Ooh, high wave clear, high self heal, high AoE damage, high mobility. We've just got a lot going for him. Now if Leandres is gutted, Uder's screwed. Haha, <laughs> he kinda needs it. Oops, accidentally went another point in the queue. Oh well. You don't want any more points in queue. There's no real reason to do it. Per level, the attack speed only... Oh, 12, you know, 12%. I don't know, actually. 12% attack speed for 7% movement speed. 7% movement speed is pretty solid, because movement speed's a hard stat to really get. We can't really lose inhib here. We need to keep inhib up. We're definitely gonna lose it though. We'll buy Wing Moon Plate again. We already know he's going for inhib. Again with double R. I don't think he gets it though. He does less damage against structures when he's in dead mode. I have no clue why Timo's not stunning this guy. I guess he's safe or just blind art in my man.
I don't think Belvet's a strong jungle champion. To me, she feels like a terrible version of Viego, where once Viego six, the game's in his hands. Once v once Belvet six, she, her R doesn't even do anything, right? It's like you're playing a worse version of Viego that needs this weird hyperscaling element that takes forever to scale just to be as strong as Viego at like the 40 minute mark. It makes no sense. I would still rather be Viego at the 40 minute mark. I do not think Belveth. What Belveth is, is a squirrely ganking champion. When you watch high elo Belveth players play her, all they do is they three camp clear into gank because she's got so many dashes and then a knock up. They pressure them with like the red buff autos. They dash, they pressure. Get the stun and double R. Uh. Auto him down. I need to stun this guy. Let's get some help back. Lucian, my man. My man. He wouldn't even let me touch him. What a rude dude. The bad attitude. 11, 1, 12, what a score. Hey, Brant. He just knows he can't kill me, so he doesn't bother. I, haven't, I don't know if I've used my Empowered W a single time this game. More useful for Uder top, I guess. Let's look at the graphs. Looking at damage dealt against enemy champions, we did have the most in the game for damage taken, most on our team, and for runes, high value. All in all, Uder's in a really good spot whether you're playing high elo, low elo, or mid elo. He's viable across every region. Super consistent character. If you guys enjoyed this Uder video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what champion you want to see next. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.